welcome to Sarah's Stamping Retreat. Today we're going to be having some fun colouring in our die cuts and we're going to use this small day of the month club from Spellbinders. So in this you get all the things to kind of fill some boots with flowers. So you've got the boot with the details, you've got the stem and the leaves and then a multitude of different flowers. So I've cut all my pieces in white for today's video because I want to colour them and I'll talk about that in a second but for all my colouring today I'm going to use my Altenew Artist Markers. For the boot I've got Citrus Burst, Fresh Lemon, Maple Yellow and Honey Drizzle and the nice thing about the Altenew Markers is they all come in sets of four shades so it's really nice for doing your blending. So I'm going to colour the whole boot in Citrus Burst first. And the nice thing about doing all our die cuts in white and then colouring them is A, you can get quite a different look to just die cutting them out of coloured cardstock. B, you can use up a load of white scraps which I always seem to have tons of. And C, although it takes more time with the colouring, it actually saves a little time on die cutting because you can just put everything on the white and slide it through. I did two sets for today's card, not two sets of everything. I didn't do this large flower twice. I think I did everything else twice. I'm going in with fresh lemon now to add some details. So I just essentially filled the piece of paper that I got out and then I can colour them and have a little play. And although usually I do cut my die cuts from coloured cardstock, I do really like colouring so this is quite a nice thing. I actually coloured most of the pieces for this video last night while I was just listening to my audio book. So it was quite a relaxing thing to do. And then this bit goes around the top and I'm going to line up the colouring with the bit below so that the shadows line up. I'm going to do one shade darker on this top bit. And then I've got a white gel pen and I'm just going to colour these bits that are kind of die cut at the front in the white. So you can see this is the boot piece and then this piece cuts out the top and the bit that goes underneath. So this is the bit that goes underneath that I've coloured in grey. I always like some scrap paper underneath when I'm colouring die cuts because I tend to come off the side a bit. So then I can glue those pieces to my boot. Then there's another boot. So then we've got the larger daffodil and that uses this piece, this piece here and this piece here. So then we've got the smaller daffodil that uses this piece, this piece and this piece and this teeny piece here. I've got a bit splodgy with my glue there, but that's fine because it will dry clear. So that's those pieces done. So then we've got the tulip in three pieces. So we've got this piece here and these two pieces here. And I've got two of those. And then these are all the leafy bits. I'm not going to use the stem today so I've not coloured that. So now I'm going to switch glues so that I don't get too drippy on here. So this is these flowers and these centres so I've cut two of those. And I find a pickup tool way easier for putting these centres on the flowers rather than trying to do them with my fingers. Then I'm going to use cracked pistachio, salvaged patina and broken china to just add some colour to the background. So I'm going to start with the cracked pistachio at the bottom. Then I'm going to go to salvaged patina. So we're going to emboss this 
cardstock in a second and I just want quite a subtle background for this card so I'm doing my ink blending before I've embossed the pattern if you want the pattern to stand out more then you can do your ink blending after you've embossed it and then it will kind of pick up the pattern more and you won't get a smoother blend but you'll see more of the embossing and I like to do one layer of colour and then go back over with a second layer kind of go back down and I find that's the way that I get the best blend so then I'm going to pop that inside my embossing folder which is the embossing folder of the month for February from Spellbinders it's a really pretty floral pattern so now we've got this pretty pattern background so then I've got this lawn fawn all the party hats stamp set and basically I bought this stamp set because of the happy birthdays like the, the party hats are really cute and I'll use those on something but the fact that it has happy birthday three ways for me is really useful because most of the cards that I create are birthday cards so I'm going to stamp that in black at the bottom of this frame so this frame is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of white cardstock that I've just cut a rectangle out of the middle of I'm going to stamp this at the bottom now I'm going to glue that to my card front and then I can start gluing on all my die cut pieces So then I'm just going to add on some of these little clear gems. And with these gems you can see the glue through when you first put them on. But as soon as they dry then they go back to clear again. So then all we need to do now is just add this to my card front. So in that today's card finished, I really hope you enjoyed creating it with me. If you did, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.